Leaving their homes and careers behind, hundreds of people from Manipur took refuge in Delhi after violence broke out between two communities, the Cookies and the Maitais, in the first week of May in the state. Memories of the trauma they faced are still fresh in their minds. We only heard the sound, okay, we cannot see them. It looks like hundreds of people, uh, people sound coming from afar and then it's not very far from our house, like a few footsteps away. From there they burned the church, they started burning the church. We can see a little bit far from our home also, we can see the fire. It, it almost looks like a broad daylight. We were uh, packing some few things like, if just in case anything uh, went wrong, uh, we'll try to make an escape. That's, that was our plan, but we didn't think that it would be that big. The refugees are grateful to Assam Rifles for rescuing them and in helping them leave Manipur safely. It is very fortunate that with, with the help of Assam Rifle, we can go out the next day, after, tree, after that tree, I mean. So we can go out safely. And then, like, things were okay for a while. After they loot, things were okay. Even my daddy filed a complaint uh, to the, uh, to the Churachanpur police station. And then time goes on and then the tension was high again. Evangelical Fellowship of India, a national alliance of evangelical Christians, has provided shelter to the cookies who fled to the national capital. The shelter home has volunteers who come and cook food for the refugees. The EFI says that it is trying to help the refugees in whatever way they can. Initially, there about 80 people. Now around 22 to 23 of them, they are in for vocation, vocational training. They are at uh, hotel management training. Uh, because our plan is twofold. We have short-term plans as well as long-term plans. Our short-term plan is to help them somehow come and settle here you know, for the time being, for about a month and a half or two months. And the long-term plan is that we would also want to help the youths uh, maybe get whatever jobs that is available. It's very good, I should say. I give thanks to uh, the EFI volunteer who have provided this place, uh, which we never expected to be. Uh, I never expected to be that good in this, uh, this center. So I really give thanks to the, uh, uh, the, the, the one who donate or the place. At the same time, I also give thanks to the volunteer uh, who have sacrificed their time. The shelter home has separate floors for the youth and families. The residents express their longing for home and their desire to return to Manipur as soon as the situation normalizes. I want to go home, of course, that is where all my memories are. But then, even if I want to go home, there is no home again for us to go back to. Both cookies and maitais have been affected by the violence and sporadic incidents of clashes are still being reported from Manipur. According to official figures, over 80 people have been killed in the violence so far.